name is Chad Turley. I'm a SERTI or fraud investigator and investigations coordinator for a company by the name of ESP, Receivables Management, or Ethan Strategic Partners. Uh, we are a team of investigators and a group of commercial law league association attorneys that do contacts to bank, holding, investment, disperser, lender, with regards towards delinquent balances, factored receivables, receivable insurance claims for um, delinquent, delinquent receivables or delinquent debt. Most of the guys that are associated with my company are the old school Milliken, Michael, Bill Newton and Associates. These are the old school collectors that are the pioneers or the, the icons in the industry that um, to dog the bounty hunters of the collection industry. My guys carry a half a million dollar bond and most of the people that are associated with my company either, well there is no draw against a commission so they either succeed or they don't get paid. Um, so our guys usually have t quite a bit much more t tenacity and experience in the industry or they just don't make any money. Well, um, as a result of the industry, there's a lot of letter writing, faxing companies that are associated to the industry. I mean, uh, they're more about the numbers, I meaning having 6,000 accounts in each person's file versus 150, 200. Um, it, it's more along the line and structured to the numbers game with respect towards we'll send out this many letters, put in this much debt, and we'll see which ones collect. Our objective is to succeed at collecting the account. So the rate of return, uh, the average of collections is a higher rate of collections versus a 8% yield on 10,000 accounts we would rather see an 80% yield on 500 accounts. The days of a spit and handshake are gone. Although that it's a great idea and a truly American dream, they're gone. Make sure that anything and everything that you do is documented and in writing and um, Make sure that uh, you don't do anything outside of what you already agreed to do because um, when it comes down to trying to be the best that you can be for your customer, as they say that the customer is always right, a tendency in today's day and age with the way that the economy is and the way that the legal systems are, Everybody seems to be able to paint themselves as a victim after they've been given what they were asking for. Networking is a good thing, and in these environments you have the ability to do a lot of networking and you meet a lot of good people. But what's really neat about this is that word of mouth and the advertising and the growth that you produce, um, it gives you the ability to move around and to produce an income in a form and fashion in a professional environment for your clients um, that is exclusive to no other market that's out there or available. You know, it's important for us to have locations and, and investigators and stuff across the country. Um, Office Evolution for the State of Colorado has given us several locations that we can work from. Um, Sometimes it's convenient for a client to come into Greenwood Village versus Boulder. Conference rooms, professional, uh, the ability to produce coffee or d'oeuvres. Um, <laughs> even if you wanted to, I mean, Mimi and uh, the staff that are associated with this company, they can facilitate a full-scale, you know, conference room loaded with Cadoba and ready to go for your, a whole group of a convention if you needed it to be. They have the space as needed as long as you give them a timely form and fashion to the time frames and 